today we are watching Hocus Pocus together. Here's the deal. I have watched zero, nothing, nada. I know zero. I have avoided spoilers like it's my full-time job. I cannot even tell you. The first movie is without a doubt my number one favorite Halloween movie of all time. It's like the finale of Halloween. It is my miracle on 34th street to Halloween. It is the big show. I think I watch it more than once per season. Hi Carl, bye Carl. So today what we're gonna do is go through all of the spooky prep to watch the movie. I'm gonna watch it. Andre's actually going out for like a boys night cause I need total silence and like just to fully enjoy this. I'm not gonna watch the first one first. We're doing it. We're diving all the way into Hocus Pocus 2. I'm gonna share my reactions. So this is your chance to know that there could be spoilers. I'm gonna probably try to avoid them, but I mean, I might have insane, I wanna say volatile reactions. So it is what it is. I have a couple things that I wanna share with you because here's the thing, I was like, do I put a bow in my hair? And then I found this and was like, oh, listen, first of all, my cup is very appropriate for the evening. This is Donuts, Dumbbells, and Dreams, and it says Life Potion, brewed in 1693, stirred thrice, which is great, oil of boil, dead man's toe. It's perfect. I'm getting into the mood. I'm so ready. I feel like I've waited so long to watch this movie. I mean, how long? 30 years or something? Was it 20, 25 years? So here's the deal. I ordered this set that I also got the set last year and it's from ColourPop. It's like the full Hocus Pocus 2 situation. And it came with little ears, kind of like Mickey ears. So we're doing this. This is gonna be incredible. This could be an epic disaster or it could be really, really cute. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm gonna show you all the Hocus Pocus stuff from ColourPop. This is not sponsored. I just wanna show it to you because it's so dang cute. So they have the full Hocus Pocus collection. And the cool thing is, is I'll be adding these to our weekly giveaways. If you can hear ruffling in the background, it is my fur child, Carl. This is the highlight. He's, he literally just threw it at me. Did you just throw that at me? He brought me a Halloween toy. You want me to see that? True story, if I reach for it, I will lose a finger. I'll lose a claw. This is what he brought me. Is he my son or is he my son? And it's like, it has like a scroll. I know Carl, I see you, I'm gonna throw it for you. We're just gonna have to deal with it. To pee or not to pee, that's what it says. You know that well, ready? So this is the highlight and it has binks on the front of it. I will say like the packaging isn't super duper incredible, but this highlight though is like a green, I feel it. This is the mascara that they launched and it's like a perp, like a dark purple. I don't know what this will look like on, but I'm into it and I'm very interested. One of these is what I have on my eyes right now. I have the orange one and these are like their jellies. ColourPop always launches these. So this is the Shishka Baby in like a bright orange. This is Come to Play in purple. And then I Am Calm in like an iridescent white color. And they all have little cute icons on the front. I mean, if we're gonna get into character, we're gonna get into character. So what I did is I used the palette this morning and then I put that orange on top. The palette, I have to say, I mean, the amount of palettes that I have is unbelievable. This one though is fabulous. And did I need it? No, was it worth it? Yes. So I did the two orange ones, Doomed and Marvelous. Amazing. So this is all, it all comes in a kit. So I got these three lip glosses also. And I want to just mention that Andre and I just went to the store. I ventured off by myself. We were at the drugstore and I grabbed some NYX. It's their new lipstick and it's amazing. It's called Shine Loud High Shine Lip Color. So one end is like a high pigment lip color and then the other end is a lip gloss. So if you don't do well with lipstick like me, it's so perfect. And I got some pretty dark colors. So I got Magic Maker, perfect, and Boundary Pusher. This is Boundary Pusher that I have on now. So it's a little bit darker than what I would normally wear, but for fall, I'm here for it. So the other thing, other than the makeup and the ears, I got these plates. And so, okay, so at the drugstore, I also picked up a bunch of treats. Like, bless you. I also picked up a bunch of treats. Oh, that's why he's looking at me, because I said treats. I was like, what is wrong with him? So I'm gonna make some different treats that I found on Pinterest and whatnot. And I screenshotted some of them just for ideas for today. So there was like different broomstick ideas. There's dead man's toes, like pigs in a blanket. 
There is a DIY project that I mean, I have kind of right in front of me, but I can make more of them because I feel like that'd be cool. Oh, a Hocus Pocus punch. We're gonna do it. I mean, I'm gonna go where the wind takes me. I have no idea what it's gonna look like, but it's gonna be great. And it's gonna be served on these because like, and I think these are four. Okay, not Hocus Pocus, but it says Hocus Pocus. Not two, but whatever. Ooh, I love this one. This one's like witchy. I like that. And they go perfectly with my nails. These nails are really long. I can do nothing with these nails. This is the longest nails I've ever had in my life. But tis the season. So I got four little plates, so I'm gonna serve on that. I also have a little cauldron that I've shared before. I got it at Michael's this season. I have my Mean Girls notebook. I have this Sanderson sister notebook that I got at Spirit Halloween. I have this tray that I can serve food on. And then I have a black flame candle. Now here's the thing. You don't need this fancy black flame candle that's from Hallmark. You can DIY one. I'm gonna try and DIY one. I'm gonna grab, I don't even need black paint. I'm gonna go grab black nail polish. And oh, that, that actually makes a lot of sense because I feel like that would last a bit longer. So I'm gonna get some black nail polish. I'm gonna grab my candles that I use every season that have like the flickering light. And I'm gonna paint the tip, like the wick, the fake wick, black, black flame candle. Because here's the thing, while I decorate tonight, you're gonna get everything. You're getting like hocus pocus, mantle decor. It's gonna be a full situation. My full reactions. And the other thing, this is where the spoilers might come into play. I was gonna do Easter eggs because I think that'd be really cool. I saw this YouTube video that I avoided, like dodged it, but it was all the Easter eggs in Hocus Pocus and I live for that stuff. So, I mean, that could be a thing. If not, we'll move on. All right, you guys. So if you wanna Hocus Pocus it up with me, hang out, get cozy. We're gonna create like a little space. I'm gonna decorate the mantle. We're gonna make some treats. We're doing it all. So if that's something you wanna be a part of, then just keep watching. I bet you think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are I'm about five minutes in and it's incredible. My expectations 
are beyond met. I had very low expectations though. It's really good. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. Okay, reaction. I'm gonna keep giving you reactions. First of all, I stopped decorating because I'm enamored by this and I can't be distracted. This is, first of all, I'm literally laughing out loud. Also, Mary looks amazing. Has Mary become the new fan favorite? I don't know, but I love her so far. It's, I literally feel like I could cry. It's so freaking good. Before it started, I was, um, I don't know, I feel like I shouldn't admit this, but I'll just, you know, we're honest here. I was so nervous. I was like, there's, you know, I have low expectations, but if I'm in my heart of hearts, like I really want it to be great. It's so good. So, so far we are, I don't think very far in. How far in are we? We're 34 minutes in. I mean, I'm a fan. Okay, so I'm completely blown away that beyond exceeded my expectations. That was so fun. Now I just want to watch it again. Okay, here's the part where I don't want to ruin anything for you guys. And I know that I showed clips of the movie. I just made myself a little snack slash dinner. Andre, like I said, is out to dinner with friends. So I did an Instacart and I made myself some treats. I have been upping on water. I didn't finish my margarita. I haven't been. I know I've been loving my margaritas lately. It's like a third empty. Wine though, for the win. And I have, let's talk about this. So if you wanna do like a little hocus pocus party, this is how simple it is. Dead man's toes, shishka babies. And then I did three little smileys, but I feel like they could have like some cheese or something as their hair. And that could be the Sanderson sisters. That's as far as I got. But listen, I'm having fun, okay? So I'm gonna have my food. I did like fries, mozzarella sticks, because duh. Mm. I live for mozzarella sticks. Mozzarella sticks and popcorn are my two favorite food groups on the planet. So here's the deal. I gave a couple of reactions. My reaction through the entire film was literally just total bliss and excitement. And I mean, I don't understand how they were able to meet my expectations of a movie that I've loved since I'm a little kid. I don't know how they did that. They did a phenomenal job. It, they didn't, redo things like I kind of wanted them to sing I put a spell on you but they didn't so sorry if I'm ruining that for you but it was better that they didn't like they killed it like they did so good but they kind of did but they didn't everything was like its own new thing but still with so many easter eggs okay so I said we were gonna talk about easter eggs I'm not gonna say them all because I want you to go watch the movie if you haven't seen it but I want to nerd out with you if you have so there, there was so many parts, especially all the Halloween costumes. Like when you're watching it, all the different costumes, like there was one part where one of the witches was like flying through, which by the way, I love Mary in this movie. Obviously growing up, I was obsessed with Sarah. I thought she was like the greatest thing. I went as her one year for Halloween, obsessed, like smoking hot, loved her goals. Mary, I want to say aged the best out of all three. She looks incredible, but she was hilarious. Like I was dying of laughter. So she was in the window, there was a couple watching a movie and they're watching the original Hocus Pocus, like the part where there's like master and then his, his wife that was like super grumpy. But then shortly after that, there was two people in Halloween costumes that were those guys. So there was a lot of people in costume that like paid tribute to the original movie like the mom in the original one with like the Madonna costume, someone was wearing that, little things like that. Um, the bird at the beginning, like flying over, obviously that's the opening scene of the first one. It goes on and on. Here's the one thing, and I knew that this was gonna happen because I checked the cast, and I was just hoping that they'd maybe be at the end. I was hoping that Max, Allison, and Danny would be in it, but they weren't. And I feel like they should have just out of respect, but Andre was like, maybe they're not that good of actors anymore. Didn't didn't Danny like win an Oscar for American Beauty? I mean, I think that they would have been great. But on that note, if you watch it, go all the way through to the credits. I knew it too. 
the end of the credits, there was a little something. I think there's gonna be another one. And there should be, because it's incredible. This was the best night ever. Oh, and the mantle. So I have to clean up the floor. I did it completely differently. It is chaotic and insane. So I'm going to end this here and end it with a pan over the entire mantle and show you exactly what I did because it's next level. So let's do that before we end this. All right, we've got the fireplace going. It's cozy, it's warm. So I used the two drip candles, like the set. So it's like set sets of three and I put one at each end. So it was perfect. I don't know if you guys noticed, but since last year we actually got a bigger TV. So it was kind of weird because I, I felt like there was less room. That's why. So Andre wanted a bigger television. So there's actually less mantle space now, but it's all good. So this eye from Bath and Body Works is incredible. When it's turned on, I'll be honest, I didn't even know that it turned on, but the eye rotates. I can't deal. It's incredible. And then on here, I've got the black flame candle. So you can totally just get like a candle like this and paint the wick black with like some black nail polish. That's all that that is. And then I've got my old Morticia stuff. Perfect for here. So it's kind of like very witchy. These were little pumpkins that had, they all said like happy Halloween on them. I think they just said Halloween, something like that. And I just turned them around, painted them black, way cuter. And then I have this skull with the Venus flytrap from Michaels. This actually fell while I was decorating, but it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We're gonna put some, some glue on him. See, no one needs to know. Who's gonna know? No one's gonna know. It's great, no, it's fine. Book of Spells back here, which they referenced that in the movie, so I kind of died. I have this Hocus Pocus little cauldron here and the girls are actually on the back of it, so it's super cute. And then I just did white cobwebs with a kind of glow light in there and I switched it to purple. Oh, I'm gonna do fairy lights. Okay, well, like you guys always say, Angie's never done decorating. I'm gonna do some purple fairy lights through all of this, I think. The rope, like usual. And then I did black cobwebs this year. I have another Venus flytrap because I'm obsessed. And then I have this Hocus Pocus Broom Co. sign that I just hung on the candle. And then I have this little Hocus Pocus holder here. There's a candle in there. So the whole theme really is like witch slash Hocus Pocus, which I felt like so inspired today. I feel like I should always watch movies based off of what I'm decorating. So I have this like black netting that goes over everything, a candle, this witch's apothecary. I got this at Michael's and I took the cork out and I put these, what would you even call these things? I love them. I don't know, like black vines. I, I have no idea. They're amazing. These are from Amazon from years ago. I have tea lights in them. They, I just need batteries. And then I shoved like different succulents that I had painted black. So these are all just succulents that I got at Michael's and I painted them all black. This is that witch's brew little cauldron thing that I got at Home Goods that I thought was perfect and all the little little green balls in there. Dead Man's Toe, this was when the, the three ladies did the New York Restoration Project. So my friend Ashley actually got this for me and it like contributed to that, which was really cool. And then back there I have the Billy Butcherson tombstone and then with the thumbs up hand, I thought was perfect. Listen, I know he's not a skeleton, but still, I just, it felt like it was like him. This is a really old like glitter book. I put a spell on you. And then I have this little cauldron that I got at Michael's with the eye, also from Michael's, more of those little pumpkins all throughout. And then the candles. And then I just put some of these picks and sticks from Michael's in here as well. And then the netting, I just kind of draped it over here. This is something new that I never do. So I thought that it would be really cool. I just wanna make sure this isn't melting. It's, it's warm because we're really close to the fireplace, but we're good. So I've never done this, but I thought it would be kind of cool to like drape it down. So I brought this table in here and then I've got the witch's brew. I'm gonna do like bubbles or like a mist coming out of here. So stay tuned. Little book, I love these. These are usually on the mantle. Oh, I didn't talk about my vines. I thought, again, spray painted black. Best thing ever, can of black spray paint. And then I did this pumpkin on the candle holder back here and then another what do you call these? Is it like a luminary? No, I don't know what that's called, but it says it's all a bunch of Hocus Pocus and the women are on there and then I need to light that and then another Hocus Pocus Broom Co. So I think what I'm gonna do, like I said, is by the way, this is what happens when you put things too close to the fireplace. So I think I'm gonna paint these flames black and put these like, like throughout 
This is my plan. Wait, I need a littler one. See, I have a bunch of them. I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. They might melt though. It gets really hot close to the fireplace. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna pop on an extra movie while I eat. But this was so fun. Such a good movie, such a good night. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell for notifications. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye dudes.